data bi sql so uh, in today's video right um, we will go through one of the sql interview questions uh, which is being asked in amazon or google or meta right or any other uh, companies uh, where uh, you know this is kind of a basic i would say falls under the basic uh, uh, interview question so this can, this probably you know if you are preparing for data analyst position right uh, uh, then this this is very helpful because you know for data analyst if you have no, don't have a past experience right then this is a very helpful video uh, because you know for data analyst let's say you don't have a past experience or you have not worked in the it field or you want to get into the it field right uh, you should start with the select star statement uh, so selecting and then we should start with the filtering right so this is we are going to filtering today's video uh, it's a pretty basic question if you are like data engineer uh, then you know this is it's a very basic uh, query for uh, analyst position right or business analyst position even business analyst today you know uh, uh, query the tables query the query the sql very good. Uh, start you know, your uh, say so this is the part 31 of the series i'll i'll uh, uh, add to the playlist of amazon sql into question so if you have not if you're new to the channel and if you videos i have to look at the entire playlist i made like 30 videos with this and this is my 31st video. so let's get started so this video right will come a new table called underscore salary underscore table is because in the last three four videos i've like the other table and uh, this table is, is is new so even uh, so i go through the table first so right so what it has it has an id which is basically surrogate key uh, so it's a unique id or primary key you can say and then there is a job id right and then applicant id uh, so uh, pretty straightforward right i mean think of it as like a let's say linkedin portal uh, where you know there is one job and there are multiple applicants right so that's what the relationship is one to many so 20, job number 20 if you see there are multiple applicants applied and then one applicant can apply to multiple jobs right so let's say if you see 30, 13 she is he is applied to uh, a job id 10 is applied also applied to job id 20 right so uh, it's pretty natural right i mean one applicant applies to multiple jobs then there is a column called offer received right so basically even though you applied for the job not necessarily you'll get an offer right uh, uh, so so that's that's where this column comes into the picture and then once you receive an offer right uh, either you can accept the offer or you can reject the offer right right as a multiple offers from two three companies you will reject uh, the company right so it's basically an offer accepted right so uh, if offer is right uh, then what Offered, right? What is the salary offered to you? And then what is the salary you? Receive? So, uh, you know, if uh, if some salary to you, right? Not necessarily you will receive salary, uh, but um, right. So, initial salary offered to you, thirty k, you are getting on hundred forty k, right? So, that's basically, it's storing an information about jobs who applied it whom offer was rolled out and who accepted the offer you know and then what shall the offer and then final salary right basically the uh, the it's you can just imagine like a this uh, it's not a link data but i'm just uh, taking it as an example because that's a that's a widely popular job portal so you can take you know knockery.com in india or linkedin here uh, in in us so uh, the question is display those applicants who received greater than or equal to 130k salary and declined the offer okay so read the sentence again received salary of actually this will be salary of actually this is you know uh, offered i should correct the statement right whoever offered the salary greater than or equal to and declined offer right declined offer so what do you make as i say in my all the videos uh, here also i want to say that you know break down the questions into pieces right and that makes it very easy for you to write the c so basically select right 
so what you need to select select display display means select select those applicants so here applicant id right you have applicant id right then you can do the table right who were offered salary greater than or equal to 130k and declined the offer right so there are two pieces to this right they were offered the salary of 130k and then they declined the offer right so what does that mean uh, who will receive the salary who will get an offer right i mean so for that so there are basically what will happen is here you are basically dealing with two filters right so what first filter is 130k and second filter is declining it right because you are offered the salary right 130 not necessarily you accepted it right so that's why you have to have two filters so how do you do filtering in the in a sql you write a where clause okay so data analysis is very important where you know what is the first who were offered salary greater than uh, uh, you know uh, greater than 130 so offer so salary offered right is basically salary underscore offered is greater than or equal to okay greater than or equal to no don't forget to put this equal to okay because they are saying greater than or equal to right so don't make that mistake because if you just do greater than 130 will not come right okay so 130k right so what what this will give you this will give you all those candidates who were whose salary was for 130k more than 130k right so is this a correct answer right it's not a correct answer right and here also you need to select the distinct application applicants right because see if i don't select the distinct since 313 apply to multiple job offer right multiple jobs sorry multiple jobs uh, uh, you know he will appear two times which you don't want right so distinct applicant id and then for readability readability purpose i always go by order by okay so it will always give you an order right and you always want that so it's very easy to read so here if you see you got 12 people right and i did distinct if i remove distinct you would have got uh, multiple people at the same time right so let's say if i remove distinct and did order by you see 13 is appearing two times okay 15 is because he was offered more than 130k right for two jobs okay so that's why he's appearing two times so let's revert back distinct okay you just need the distinct applicant IDs. okay now is this answer correct no because you know you're just showing that you know who have received the uh 30k salary did they accept and for that i offered uh, accepted right but if they did not accept the offer then you right say where say and okay so if you in a filter clause if you have to do multiple columns and rather if there was third filter, you should do another and okay so then what to do is score accepted equals no okay so now if you run this you get only eight applicants right okay so 310 if you see right and 314 for example 310 offer accepted no but if you go and see yeah so 310 he received the offer of 130,000 he said no right so he should come 311 he accepted the offer right so he will not come okay 313 see this is the tricky one offer received is no why he is still in the, there uh, in the in the output because he received the offer for another job id right so if you see job id 30 he received the offer for three uh, offer and then he did not take it and it was 150k so it's greater than 130k right so just just make sure you look at the data also you know in the interview question because the data set will not be that that huge you see here is 25 rows right i mean you know 
so it will be basically you can validate your answer right i mean you thought that oh 313 should not come no no but you need to scroll down and see whether he was offered another job also or not right so that's when 313 is coming okay so basically you get all the applicants who were who were offered 130000 greater than 130000 equal to greater than equal to 130000 but they did not accept okay so basically what we covered is we like cover a distinct clause we had to put distinct because in this kind of scenario right one to many scenario you should make sure you put distinct otherwise you will get repetitive candidates right which you don't want then basically what we did we put a filter on two columns salary offer greater than 130k equal to 130k or offer or not accepted right uh, you know so uh, basically uh, i consider this as a like basic sql skills but this is very important you know when you start the writing sql queries you should start step by step and it's very helpful for you to understand the data this will make you understand the data also very well and then you can apply the basic functionality of select and then taking the distinct applicant id right is a distinct clause also is covered and then you put a filter through where clause okay uh, so that's it for today guys uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, looking at my videos and liking my videos i really get encouraged and motivated please, uh, if you want to see more content right i request you to please subscribe to my channel and also like my videos thank you